We hear that the Surface Pro is one of the fastest tablets out there. This is Adam Lane from Pocketnow.com, and in this video, I'm going to take it through some performance tests. Things like Photoshop, Premiere Pro, um, a couple, couple games, and uh, of course the web browser. So let's check it out. Alright, we're going to start by booting up. I'm just going to turn these two on at the same time. And we're starting. So this is uh, completely shut off. And we'll see how long it takes. Oh, And let's put my password in. And there we are. So we see our performance is going pretty good. Let's um... Oh, hey there. Let's go to the browser. Here's the Peacekeeper Universal Browser Test. And you see I already ran it, so the score is 663. And that's okay. It's not an awesome score. I10 lost a lot of points because of uh, some of the codecs were missing and whatnot. So let's go to a different site. How about Pocket Now? See how quickly that loads. And we're pretty much there. And very little, no lag at all. How about that? We see it load pretty quickly. I'm going to play that. Oops. And I'm zooming while watching a video. And we're we're not missing a beat there. So that's the browser. Pretty pretty high performance there. If you want more HTML5 support, obviously this is Windows 8, so you can install whatever browser you feel like. This is the Premiere Pro 5 benchmark. You can uh, get your own, own copy at ppbm5.com. A lot of people use this to measure their response times for uh, different computers. I've already ran the tests, the rendering speed tests, and I wrote down the answers over here. So the H.264 test is about 5 minutes 49 seconds. The disk test is uh, two, point, 2 minutes 11 seconds. And the MPEG-2 DVD test is 7 minutes and 12 seconds. So it's not uh, super fast, but I think it's pretty acceptable. So there's uh, Premiere. Let's do Photoshop next. So we'll see how quickly that launches. And we're right there. I'm going to open a file. Which one was it? Test image. Let's see how quickly that goes. There you go. And I have a speed test. This is a Photoshop speed test. I will show you the place where you can get it. Clubofone.com slash speed test. And we're going to play it, but I need a stopwatch. So, a little over a minute. That's your speed test for Photoshop. So those are not excellent results, but they're pretty good, especially considering this is such a small, thin little tablet. Next, let's try game. I was told that this game is a really good one. There we go. This is running at 1080p, so it's a uh, full resolution at the screen. You may have seen a little bit of choppiness there. 
But it's still going pretty smoothly. I oh, just saw a little choppiness there too. So there we're moving around. You see it's uh, doing pretty nicely I think. Where's my guy? A little bit of choppiness there. Alright, so I think that's working pretty nicely. Now let's try a regular tablet kind of game. How about this one? We'll see how this performs. Alright, here we go. Oops, there's the button. Alright, here we go. It's looking pretty nice. See some water splash on the screen. Let's see if we can do that. There you go. Lastly, let's just see you know how many raw files we can. You know how quickly we can open a bunch of raw files. So let's see how many should I take. How about that many? And I'm just going to hit that, and we're going to open them. And that was pretty quick. So now I can select them all, and I can do all sorts of alterations on all the pictures at one time. And it happens all very, very quickly. Just for highs, let's open them in Photoshop and see how quickly that happens. And we got a little uh, weight cursor there. These are all 16 megapixels. I believe the file sizes are around 13 meg each. So this is a quite acceptable performance. And I can do other stuff while I wait. And we can see what's going on in the little thumbnail over there while I look at uh, some web pages. We saw it change, more are opening. So, pretty cool. So that whole video that you just watched is actually the first time that I edited an HD video on the Surface Pro. So all I had to do was uh, you know, copy the videos straight to the USB port here and you know, start editing right away. It was very smooth and quick. So, that's it for the performance tests on the Surface Pro. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and that's it for now.